Okay, so hello guys. Today I'm going to be teaching you uh, how to use in Python, how to use a variable um, and print statements and how to do math on Python. So first thing you want to do is you want to open Python and you want to make a new file by going to file, new file. And then you want to save it to whatever file you want. So I'm just going to save it to my file that I usually use. Rohan Python. Save. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. So I'm going to go file, save. And then I'm going to go to Rohan and save. I'll uh, call it tutorial one and save okay so first what i'm going to teach you to do is how to print so i'm gonna so what you have to do first is just type the word print and you'll know you typed it right when you get this orange lettering uh, and then you're going to put uh, these two parentheses which is kind of like is called which is called syntax and syntax is kind of like in like punctuation in in English, uh, but this syntax is for coding. So then you put your quotation marks inside of those two parentheses, um, and then you like so. I'm just gonna type in a text like "Hello World." Uh, so when I save this, go to File, Save, and then I press and I run the program by going to Run and Run Module. It prints hello world in the shell. Uh, and if, so now I'm going to teach you. So that's how you print stuff. So now I'm going to teach you how to do math in Python. Okay. So what you can do is you can do. So all you have to do is you do the same print statement and you put that syntax. Then so say you want to do seven plus two. So then you just do seven, then you take your plus sign, and no quotation marks are needed. If you put a quotation mark, then it won't give you nine. It'll just give you seven plus two again. So I'll show you that also, the wrong way and the right. So this is the right way. So we save it. And what our, and what our expected answer is nine. So run module. And we get nine, as you can see right here. Uh, so now... I'll show you if we did it with quotation marks, you will you this is how it'll look. It'll just print seven plus two. So if I save it and run the module, it'll just print seven plus two because you put it in quotation marks. So that's wrong. But if you want to do multiplication, then you just put the multiplication sign, which is shift eight in a Mac. Uh, you just save. So you just use all the regular signs and you get 14. Like if you want a subtraction, you just use the minus sign. If you want division, you just use the slash sign. And if you want to do an exponent, if you want to do 7 squared or 7 to the power 2, you should get 49. So you just do, instead of doing one um, multiplication sign, you do two multiplication signs and you'll get 49. Or the exponent so file save run module and you get 49 so those, that's the basics of math in python so now i'm going to teach you variables okay so variables what you can use in variable what variables let you do they allow you to like um like so i'm going to teach i'm going to give you one example so if you want to print eight times eight and then you want to print eight times seven and you want to then you want to print eight times six and do one more print eight times five so if you want to do all of these operations at one time then uh, you can do this you just do file save run module and you get all these correct answers. Now say you want to change it. 
you want to just make this instead of eight you want to make it nine you want to make all of these you want to make this nine 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 uh then what you can do you can do like you can go down keep on changing it to nine and you'll get a correct answer but an even easier way to do it look you can get the correct answer you get nine times all these answers but if you'll just let me go back undo all that so an easier easier way to do this we assign a variable so this is our variable will be called a um so a is our variable and say we want to keep this eight so we just put a equals eight and we replace all of these eights as a uh and so then you get a equals eight so now it'll replace every time it goes through every line it'll say print a times eight and it'll ask what is eight and then it'll go uh here but the pro the the wrong uh the error in this code is the it'll say the shell will say um a is not defined Be because this is because if you you have to put this you have to define a on you have to define a before you write anything that uses a inside because now it knows what so it'll keep it'll store eight in its memory it'll say i know a is eight in its memory and every time it goes through these print statements it'll just say uh replace a with eight but if we kept it over here then it'll just say uh I don't know what a is and it'll it'll just you can't multiply a letter with a number so it'll give you an error so now we can see that it'll give you the same answers it gave us over here so now so we just need to change one number if we want to make it nine times eight nine times seven nine times six nine times five as if um as supposed to um uh, when we last time we had to change every little eight to nine which is a very long process if you're doing a lot more numbers. So you just change the variable to nine and now it will multiply everything to by nine. As you can see, we got the same answer as we got over here when we changed every single eight. Okay, so that's all for variables. Um, see you in the next class.